All right, my jimmies are rustled. My my feathers are are ruffled. Let's see what else? I, I'm having a cow, man. I'm I'm tilted. I'm frustrated with the state of payday three because earlier this week they announced that the big 200 bug fix patch has been split and some console stuff was going to be coming today on October 5th the original bug fix date and then the the big bug fixes for everyone and for PC have been delayed but then today they posted this and now there's nothing today uh, the patch needs changes and it has to go through console cert again we hope to be ready to deliver this one for mid-October. And yes, this means the PS5 bonus content will remain unredeemable until this patch is ready. So first of all, if you haven't been able to tell, this is unscripted. Because I'm just like... <laughs> I'm sad. I don't even play on PlayStation, but I'm I'm sad. The state of, pl of, uh, of Payday 3 is getting to me, so I'm just kind of ranting at this point. Because this... Today is two weeks from launch, right? And there's enough bugs in it, including some big exploits that everyone knows about, but there's enough bugs that they're like, yeah, we have a patch ready to go with 200 fixes. And everyone... Developers always do this. It's like, yeah, 200 fixes! And it's like, that's a lot of bugs you ship your game with. And now it's delayed another few weeks. So we're, we're possibly looking at a timeline where Payday 3 will have been released and out for over a month without a bug fix patch and over 200 known bugs. Which is insane. And like they say, the PS5 bonus content is still unredeemable. After... It's already been two weeks, and some people paid well over $100, I think maybe close to $200 for the Collector's Edition. And they still don't have a lot of their stuff in-game that they were promised, that they paid for. That's insane. I'm so surprised more people haven't... Uh, haven't gotten on them about that. But the fact that it's gonna be maybe even a month after launch before they can use their stuff, while everyone else already has that stuff if they bought that edition, it's... incredible. But... The fact is, this... Payday patches usually go out at, like one Eastern. This tweet came out at two. So it seems like this was a real 11th hour decision because they say we've chosen to delay the patch. So I just, it, it, it baffles me that we're at this point where this communication and these decisions are still coming down at the 11th hour. No, it's really not been Payday's week. There's this now, and I believe it was yesterday or the day before they announced Crime War is being shut down. So that's two black eyes on the franchise this week. But Payday 3's launch has just frankly been a disaster. One thing after the other, right? The servers were down for days, and then there's bugs, and there's exploits, and there's no patch in sight. But then, oh, we're it's coming on October 5th, don't worry. And October 5th comes around. It's coming in a few weeks, sorry. You know, it's... I feel bad saying this, but it's it's ridiculous. It's a little embarrassing. You know, this... If you go to the forums, everyone's upset. The Reddit's upset. Reviews for the game are still tanking. Starbreeze's stock price is tanking. And I, I get it. You know, the game's not in an acceptable state. And it's absurd to me that it's being left this way for so long and I understand that the console certification for patches takes a few weeks but now we're at the point where I don't know if it's one console or both consoles or I guess three counting the two versions of Xbox but I digress Xbox Jones over here but the, the fact that we're taking all these weeks for any meaningful progress and there's never communication about the state of things in writing be it in the Twitter or in the discords or the Steam announcements until it's when it should have happened you know this morning 
on his dev stream, Almir's like, we don't have any updates about the patch. We'll let you know when we have something to say. But the dev stream should not be the primary source of information. Starbreeze needs to start writing it down and just, like, fucking cataloging stuff. I'm a moderator and I'm a Starbreeze partner, and I am missing critical information about Payday 3 to do either of those jobs that I do. Because I'm not always around to watch Almir Listo put on a chicken mask and headbutt a microphone at 11am on a Thursday. <laughs> you know, it's like... People work, people have school, and this is just information that's not readily available to people. Unless you go and, like, scrub a two-hour, or one-hour, or three-hour Twitch VOD. They've already announced progression changes are coming, thank God, finally. But they didn't reiterate that anywhere in writing that I've been able to find. They just said it once in stream and hoped the YouTubers or the forums would take it and run with it, and that's how they would announce it. There's this... There's clearly a communication breakdown in the sense of explaining to players what the status of things is. But I feel like there's also this development breakdown going on right now. Because there's constant delays with bug fix patches. First we're going to split it, then we're going to delay one of the split, then we're going to delay both. And now they even said if the two splits are being merged back to one big patch again, or if it's now going to be two smaller pa uh, patches. It just... The more time passes, the more I feel like Payday 3 just was not ready to be released. That That is how I'm feeling at this point. I think this game shouldn't be out... Knowing when it launched, I would say maybe a November release, maybe even early next year. Because, like, it, it's just not... Something's not working here. I know that's vague, but there's bugs, there's so many problems, and it's like a fight we're constantly having. Oh, the progression's bad, we don't like it, please change it. No, we're just going to change the challenge UI, and then everyone gets upset, and then they're like, Okay, okay, fine, we'll change it. And then they don't tell the rest of the world that they're changing it. They just say it on Twitch. But things aren't gelling. And it's constantly resulting in one big loss for the series. One big defeat for Payday 3 after the other. And I'm... You know, my, my copium tanks are cracked and leaking. Is the best way to put it. I just don't know what's going on anymore. I'm just like... Every time I want to boot up Payday 3, and I have been playing it off stream and off content, but every time I go to boot it up, I'm just like sad and frustrated at the state of it. Because everything seems to be moving much slower than it has to, and there's never like clear resolutions on why things are. I don't have a point. <laughs> I don't I don't have a clean conclusion. I'm just frustrated. This this is just purely an unscripted rant vaguely disguised as a news video. I don't know if you've heard that creak, my chair is coming apart. But this was just vaguely disguised as a news video. So thank you all for listening to my ramblings. And if you agree with me, or if I'm just like high as a kite and you think Payday 3 is fine, uh, let me know below. And I will see you all next time.